Surrounded by flags carried into battle by New Hampshire veterans, veterans and elected officials gathered to honor those who have served. Governor Maggie Hassan says this day always reminds her of her dad, who fought in the Battle of the Bulge. He knew the true price of freedom and the sacrifice required to position our country as the strongest military and economic power in the world and the strongest force for good. Friday also marked a milestone as the first female commander of the state VFW spoke. But Shannon Brown says she doesn't consider herself a pioneer. Because with the veterans, like we're brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter if you're male, female, black, white, whatever. It's just we're all on the same team. Brown, a former kindergarten teacher, enlisted because she wanted to serve her country. She and says she was time reminded time. this week why she did that. When I went to vote, I was like, you know, like this is why we, why we joined, so we can have these rights. Debbie Hoyt brought her son Lincoln to the ceremony. Her husband, Lincoln's father, served in the military, and she says it's important to give veterans their due respects. You know, they're going out and fighting the fight so that way we can live in this great country that we have and be free and be able to make the choices that we want to be able to make. Also present at the ceremony, the Commandant of the State Veterans Home, who says it's important that we focus on the needs of veterans in the North Country who have difficulty getting medical care. Um, you literally have to go over mountains to get the care that they need. So I would hope that the state of New Hampshire and Washington is focusing on veterans' choice and making sure that our veterans have choice in their care. Governor Hassan also added that we owe a debt of gratitude not just to the veterans, but also to their families. In Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.